This is video number two and the concluding video for installing an article directory with WordPress using free themes and free plugin. The next task is to uh, activate our theme and it looks like it uh, automatically activated it. Let's go and take a look at it. All right, here's the basic theme now set up. And as I mentioned earlier, you'll see this one is, is red, where the one that I've got on uh, uh, GVO, I did some work with uh, CSS and changed the colors and whatnot. But basically, this, this is it. So we have to go in and, and uh, next thing we'll do is uh, remove a couple, uh, a page and a, uh, and a post. Now you can make your own decision on this, but I always delete the, uh, the uh, Hello World. And also on the pages, I don't use the about, I use a contact form for that, so I delete that. So the next thing we want to do now is, we've got a couple setups that we have to make. Let's, let's uh, go in and set up the uh, UAW plugin to start getting our automatic articles. So click on settings, and then scroll down and click on UAW control. And in here, you make a couple of, of uh, simple choices. All right. First of all, you want to put an email in, and then your first name and last name. Maximum articles per day. Because I want to get this uh, loaded fairly quickly, I'm going to put uh, 10 on here. Once it starts loading up, I'll, I'll probably reduce that. And I'm going to click on automatically publish articles. Now, when you the first time you use this. It's a good idea to leave this unchecked and then look at some of the articles that come in before they're posted. Um, but, uh, well, as a matter of fact, I'll, I'll probably do that on this one. Uh, on the other one, I did that for a couple days, and they were all good articles, so I've got that automatic now. But this way, for the first couple days, I can look at the articles and make sure they're fit in the categories that I'm using them on. On the other article directory, I left uh, all of my categories chosen because I'm accepting any kind of article on that. But on this one, I'm, I'm going to have self-improvement articles. Okay. Um, email notification, you want to put in an email address here. Uh, and as they send you articles, you'll receive an email about that, at that one. And then the subject line is, I put something like, new article from UAW. So when I see that subject line, I know I've got a new article that I have to link into and approve. And then you can uh, exclude some keywords if you want to. All right. And then uh, these uh, settings down here, you can decide to leave them checked or not. It allows you, allows you to uh, uh, enable videos if, if they're uh, submitted to you and audio. All right. Now, the categories you're going to want to go in and set up a whole list of categories that you want to receive articles from. And you'll, you'll do that back in your, your post section. And set up a, a list of categories. I'm going to go do that now. And then I'll come back and complete the setup. All right, now that I've no, uh, added a number of categories that are suitable uh, for the type articles I want, and you'll notice one thing you always want to do, there's always a default on categorized category. Always go in and edit that and change it to something else. So now that I've got this finished, I can go back down and click on Settings again and the UAW and finish uh, setting that up. Okay, I've added these categories, and I'm clicking on all. Now, if you've got a site in, in with a lot of categories, and you don't want articles in all of them, or as time goes on, you want to change, you can simply uncheck some of these. I can go back and add categories as I want to, and I can also uh, delete some. Now, I have one more thing to do, and that's up near the top. Uh, I'm going to click this box to start receiving unique articles. And then I'm going to click on Update and Test. This will update this so that I can start receiving articles. And at the same time, it'll test the connection and make sure everything is working. And it will actually send me a, a, a test uh, article. All right. And as you'll see, it says your preferences have been updated. A test article has been submitted. Please check your admin panel. Well, we're in the admin panel. So all I need to do is go to Post now. 
and here's the article so I could click on uh, to, uh, to preview it now of course we're going to delete this because it's just a test article but let's go out and look at our uh, page now and you'll notice that it has uh, it says there are zero published uh, I'm not sure where the two registered authors came from but uh, I'm going to go back in and approve that article and then I'll delete it just to show you what happens okay so I'm going to go in and click on uh, edit and then I'm just going to go ahead and publish it and then we'll go back out and look at the page just to show you what happens Alright, so you can see now it shows that we have a published article and, and here is that article if you click on it. Okay? Alright, so I'll, I'll go in now and uh, release that. Now, you've got one other thing that, you, that you'll need to do on settings. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm setting these article directories up to be fully automatic. Once I, I check a, a few of the articles coming in, make sure they're good. All I need to do is come back once in a while and check the articles and make sure they're I'm not getting any junk and usually from uh, UAW you're not going to get any junk but I don't want uh, regular authors to be able to stop by this site and post articles because if I do that then I'm going to have to come in and spend a lot of time deleting junk and reading all the articles that's not the kind of directory I want now that's fine if you want to build an article directory and have people come uh, to your site and, and art, add articles that's fine but for my particular purposes I want this to be automatic the only reason I'm setting these up is to build articles every article adds another page of this directory and on each one of those pages I can have links back to my money sites so I'm going to click on settings now and under the general settings I'm going to make sure that anyone can register is not clicked because I don't want anybody to register in fact I'm not even going to promote this site uh, for others to find it all I want is for the UAW articles to come in and then of course I will come in and add my own articles uh, it gives me another location where I can add my own articles with links on them so that's basically the setup and once you get it set up uh, uh, it uh, just kind of sits out there and runs by itself However, even though I'm making mine automatic, there is more thing you need, one more thing that you need to do uh, if you want uh, to, to allow other authors come to your site and post. And that is you have to add a page. So let's click on Pages here. And we'll add a page called Author Panel. Now, you don't need to add anything in the text box itself. But and, and this is one reason I said that I, I, I downloaded another version of this from a different site. Uh, in fact, I think it was from the uh, uh, WordPress site, and it, the, the author panel did not work. But if you go to the page that I showed you, uh, it, it, everything's included. And then what you need to do is come down here where it says Template. And in the drop-down menu, pick on Author Panel, Author Panel, and click on Publish. And then when you go back out to the site, of course, I went in and, and, and changed it to uh, anyone can register temporarily to show you how this works. So let's go back out to the site. And you'll see up in the navigation bar now we have an author panel. And when you click on that, okay, as you can see now that I've added the articles, they're also displayed on the front page. And here's that uh, first article that uh, evidently came in from uh, UAW already. All right, a weight lost article. And when you click on, now, if you're going to set yours up so uh, anybody can come to your directory and uh, list articles, you'll click on the uh, author panel. And they'll have to log in over here. The first time they'll register, there'll be a, a register uh, right here. Click on register and register. And then they'll log in. Uh, and then they'll be able to uh, submit their article. Okay and that's basically all there is to it this concludes the wordpress article directory video series for more information about building your affiliate blog empire visit oneclicklearning.com